Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 58 of Let's Play Dark Cloud 2. Alright, we are still in the Zelmite Mine, and of course we're going to be in there for quite a long time. Road to Truth. I already explained the truth. We're going to be here a long time. Pay close attention, game. Alright, so, I did build up my weapons even more, like, as you can see here, Grade Zero is already pretty maxed out. Supernova is getting up there too, but it hasn't hit the peak in attack power. I am building up this heavy hammer, because believe it or not, once you get this thing built up to what criteria it requires, I should be able to have Max's ultimate hammer. And luckily, all these enemies were already defeated in Chapter 7 anyway, so I don't even have to worry about that. As for Monica's weapon, her attack power on the Island King is maxed out. Its max is 500! That should tell you something. She is going to be a damage dealer all the way. Unless she's facing rocks, then it's a whole different story. What are these? Scarecrows. They look like Raiden from Mortal Kombat, and I can't block those bombs. Are those bombs? Are they exploding ninja stars instead? <laughs> Did you try to plow my fields? What's wrong with you? Duke Balloon. I almost called it Douche Balloon. And with the look of that, I'd be half correct. The other half is just a balloon. <laughs> but yeah, doing over 2,000 damage per regular slash? Putos? Uh, that sounds like a slur. Maybe that's not how you say it in this game, and I somehow pronounced it to be a slur. Which, if that's the case, my bad. Oh god, there's a death mouse too? Its tail is a scythe! Good lord! What are we fighting in this dungeon? They weren't kidding when they said the truth hurts. That everything here is so grotesque and evil. What the hell is that over there? On the left. Oh, that's just another dead mouse. Can't believe I already forgot about this thing. Okay, you had the oil. I think uh, there is a uh, stat upgrade for Svita here. Oh, you know what? But the potato pie... I forgot that I needed to get that. I did get them off-screen in between the previous episode and, of course, this one. Had to go back to a powerful frog and murderous tank to get them. Again, I'm not a fan of playing Speeda on this course. Especially since I have to get him for stat upgrades. But there we go. Max has like eight more defense points to use. And I don't think he's going to get any more than that. Oh wow, I still haven't hit the surplus of cheese yet. Which I'm not complaining about. How much chicken do I have? 14 pieces. Not bad. Oh, and apparently I forgot that I can actually make stamina drink if I want to. So if I run pretty low on that, I know what to do. You know, while well, I already got 20, let's just plow through everything here. I can't even say the names of these frogs anymore, because I'm... 
I'm worried that I'm going to offend. It's just so dumb. Okay, well, there's only like what these four enemies left. Yeah, stamina drink does not last very long. I don't even think it lasts a whole minute. Maybe 30 seconds and then it's gone? Wow, that was a bad swing there, Monica. Just swing and a miss. You did your best. <laughs> Oh, by the way, I put out some more shield kits on the, uh, on Steve. Not at max yet. Hopefully soon. Looks like we got them all. Okay, so it's two hits. Ugh, I don't like the looks of this course. Wait, what am I doing? I'm switching Max first, at least. Oh, huh, I can actually move the spear now. Should I just do that? No, I, sh I should actually just make a swing for it. Let's make it a really light swing. Hmm. And then hook it. They're the same color. So that's the issue I have. Like if they were the opposite color, this would have been the shot right here. But now look what I gotta deal with. Maybe if I hit it like really high and make it bounce. Put some backspin on it just in case. Oh, maybe I should have put the forward spin. I think if I put top spin instead, I could have nailed it. But I thought I was gonna go over the distortion. And thus the mistake was made. Oh well. It was a good effort. Crossroads. Yeah, there's so many branches on this one dungeon, it's crazy. I didn't think there'd be so many. God, I think even the final dungeon only had one branch. Oh, I spotted something. Mystery plant and hell fairy. Jeez, these names. And we're finding palette swaps of enemies we've already encountered in this dungeon! Double palette swaps! It's nuts! But here we are! Oh, It was more than one stamina drink, that's why I wouldn't let me take it. I still think that's very stupid. Like, I had one slot for it. Just let me take one and leave the other in the chest. But no, they don't let you do that, which is dumb. Uh, I'll have to deal with it, I guess. But I do like that there's like a huge, 
huge swath of new enemies to fight. Oh god. That's another one of those tours. Alright, time to kick their asses in Crossroads, one of my favorite Bone Thugs and Harmony songs back in the 90s. In fact, it might have been the only one I know of them. <laughs> God, I wonder how many people even remember that, uh, rap band. <laughs> rap band? I don't even can call it rap, but... R&B, I guess? R&B stands for rap and band! <laughs> oh, there's a clown. Which shall it be? Uh, red one. Here you are. Oh, another absorption coin. See you in hell, freaks. <laughs> Which for this fairy is already home. I didn't think I could still pick up holy stones. Okay, I haven't even found the uh, rusted key yet either. Oh, that was over 60 damage. Even with those two potato pies. Imagine if I still didn't get them. Seriously? I find neither the oil or the key. I found two exits, and I can't enter either of them yet. Seriously? What's this thing even called? I can't even see the name. Oh, Great Tree. Oh my god, look at those eyes! Yeah, Steve is not gonna get the job done. I don't care what anyone says. Monica, will you get it done? Timba, bitch. Oh! Ah, God, leave me alone. They chase you until they blow up. Yeah, I don't think heal is cutting it for me. So I'm going to spectrumize absorption to get rid of it. And then I'm just gonna use another coin to add absorb itself. This only has like five things on it, really? What? Stop on it? Maybe I should put poison on it too. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Stop. And then we'll put on poison. This should make our weapon even better. <clears throat> I already got critical hits on it. Some of my other weapons do need critical as well. So hopefully I can find that coin. Now, if I remember correctly, it's usually the moon door that leads to... Ah, screw it. You know what? I'll just keep going straight ahead. Usually the moon door leads to the dead ends. And the sun door allows you to make progress to the main path. I'll probably just, like, do the moon path in the next episode. Also, I find it very ridiculous that, that there's another two-exit room immediately right after! Little Dragon Army. How does my um, Island King fare in the scale stat? So I'm gonna 
we find dragons. 250! Okay, 250 is pretty much the highest you can get. Fireworm! Ah! That was a bad day. But if it's those kinds of dragons, that should be easy. In fact, the strategy has always been the same for each one. Let them roll to you, let them shoot, and then you get an attack on them. I didn't even- Oh! I haven't stopped. Look at that, I get a bunch of my health back. You can keep this up, but I don't care. Where are you going? You didn't like that spot? It's not good enough for you? Ah, there's so many of them in one spot. I wish I didn't have to aggro both of them. I gotta get one to roll to me. Oh, I think I'm maxed now. Oh, that's great! I like that a lot. And just because my attack looks like wind, it doesn't necessarily mean it's fully wind. I think it just goes towards the uh, highest stat. Let me look. That changes how my attack looks. Yeah, Cyclone's 300. And the closest thing to it that's elemental is lightning at 220. That makes no sense. All right, let's press onward. Oh God, they're both aggroed. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Then I wouldn't get a chance to a hit because the timing was off. Dragon have to hold the oil. That's dangerous. Good lord. That container must be some made of some badass material. Okay, there's the moon. I'll take this one. Maybe in the next episode, I'll start the other path that we just passed. It's not the end of the world if I do them all in specific order. Captain returns! Who the hell is Captain? Well, it's more like the captain of getting his ass kicked by some chick with an island sword. Okay, there's a lot going on on the left side. Oh, there's another tree. I would appreciate if you kept your hands off of me. Oh my god! God, I found the oil first thing. I think this course also has a stat upgrade through Speeda. So I'll have to keep track of that. Which to make sure that in my own time, that I make attempts to get them. Those were gold bars, wasn't it? Where the 
looked like to have gotten that. Oyakata! Do you get like... Is that a three-hit combo that I have to worry about? I think that was. Also, where the hell is the exit? Is it over to the right? I hope it is. Less hostilities there. Oh no, wait, I was already here. That was the door. I wish the doors were marked a little bit better, unless you were like really, really close to them. Elite Corsair. Elite my ass! I was right there, you didn't even notice! Usually if you're an elite soldier, you have to keep your wits about you at all times. At least this guy tried! I'll be a bit too late. You must be the captain. I mean, the Oyakata or Oyataka, whatever it's called. Let me get the name right, what is it? Oyakata. Yeah, at least this guy fought a little bit better. Maybe he should be the captain. Are any of these the ways out? Whoa, 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 wait a minute. I didn't think two of them were right together. Even then, I only got hit once. You don't even hit that hard. Okay, I'm bailing. hell of his feet I hear. I just don't want to frustrate myself, and I definitely don't want to frustrate you. Hell's Turning Point. That sounds like the name of a, like a cooking show of, of redemption. I think Gordon Ramsay just rips you apart. No, I don't mean like uh, verbally. He physically tears you with his bare hands. But they have to bleep out all the swears. Moonlight Hulk? What you gonna do when Moonlight a mania run wild on you, brother? Let me use the gun instead. Oh, yeah. That's much better. The rank sucks. The gun is great. We're getting like two different kinds of extremes here. Oh, time coin. I mean, it's nice, I guess. Healing coin. Oh god, a titan. Maybe I should use my wrench instead. Okay, I can block the first punch fine. But the second one does 25. That's a shame. Hey, wait a minute! That's like three coins in a row! Uh, okay, I guess. I can't possibly get coins in every chest on this board, can I? There's a bando. The way he holds that axe, it reminds me of Goro from the first game. God, like, I still remember in Dark Cloud 1, you had six characters to maintain. And I'm sure I mentioned that already. Eat it. Yeah, stamina drink keeps trying to take it. Here, let me use this one so I can just get a refund right away. As long as I don't waste it. Okay, so it's not always coins. You had to get a map in there, too. And a key. Oh, 
noises. <laughs> so weird. I would have liked that the stamina drink also increased your movement speed. But beggars can't be choosers, I guess. It would make this thing even more overpowered. Alright, what's waiting for me over here? Wait a minute, this guy's new. I just need to take care of this guy first. Oh, what are you? I don't know your name. Lata. As in Cialada or Leda. Jesus, I heard there was a room. That's gimmick was every chest had a coin. These enemies are not even hard. So if I want coins to go for my weapons, I should just keep entering this room. That might be the best thing to do, really. Let's see how many more chests there are. Well, I mean, all four of my weapons are already full of that. And the heavy hammer that I've been building up for a supplementary weapon for Max already has ABS up. So that was the one coin I probably did not need. You know what, I'm just gonna get out of here. I don't need to bore you guys with coin searching. In fact, there may not be many chests left. This is a good spot. Actually, scratch that. This is a great spot! Mummy Heaven! You know, just after Hell's turning point, there's a heaven. Oh man, I can't wait for a purgatory uh, soiree. <laughs> Revenant! Revenant. Well, at least you don't have rocket launchers on your shoulders, like certain Revenants I know. Okay, oh, that's a dead end. Is there gonna be more to this dungeon than just, like, you know, dead ends that have boss creatures that give you more stones? Dark Keeper? So much for that chance. Bastard. That worm just ruined it for me. I'm not even gonna bother if I don't have a key. So I'm probably just gonna get garbage anyway. Why would I just put myself at risk? Okay, yeah, the gun was way better. Way better. Is that where you all hang around to? Just this spot right here? This is old corner for all you uh, undead jerks. <laughs> Trying to segregate yourselves. What is this thing a Dark Keeper of? Can't really block that thing very well. 
if I can't get any more potato pies... I think that's pretty much the peak for where Max can go defensive-wise. And well, even if there was something I could have gotten, once you start Chapter 8, you can't go to the future anymore. Which shall it be? Yo. Very good. Here you are. Oh, just another speed of club that I probably wouldn't use. Besides, I find the turkey is just much better for control. Like, any of the other ones just would make the spear go too far. And therefore, you're just bouncing off the walls and making things worse for yourself. There's hardly any courses where you need to, like, shoot straight from very, very far away. Therefore, the turkeys much better. Thank you! Oh, I was aiming at that guy, and there was one much closer. Good to know he was undead, and therefore completely oblivious to my position. Oh, can't take any more final bombs. Ah! Damn, it has poison and thirst. Okay, well, apparently Revenants can inflict multiple ailments at once. It's just too bad it's dead. Or more dead than usual. Who the hell is messaging me on Facebook? Oh, that's just my sister. Because I sent in, like, a few bucks for my uh, niece's bed. The Mandrakers? That sounds like such an indie band name. Okay. I think they're closing in on me already. Why can't I just aim at them? I'm locking on! What the shit? I'm probably gonna die, but let's just ride the lightning and... Okay, I guess I'm not allowed to hit anything. Well, I got much of my health back. Oh shit. Oh shit. This sucks! The gun is great! But what's the good of it if I can't aim? I gotta start... Ah! Ooh! Oh, they're so fast. Mandora the Explorer, am I right? Okay, maybe going here is a terrible idea, because now they're gonna flank me. At least I can block everything. Okay, I'm going for it. Nice! Wait till you finish your attack animation, then heal. Yeah, that was a bad idea. She still could have killed me if I was careless. Oh, I got a diamond for my troubles. And, oh, another diamond. Okay. That is solid. Diamonds are obviously the uh, best gems you can get. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Alright, so before I start the next episode, I'm gonna finish the Moon Room 
or the moon door here, and then the sun door over here. Okay, there are still some rooms I haven't cleared that are not even on the screen. So that goes to show how much more we have to do. But at least we, um, uh, made some progress. Am I closing in on 90 hours on this save file? I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get it. I'm at 89 now! Jesus. Anyway, I'm gonna stop here, and in the next part, we'll keep going through the dungeon. Still! <laughs> See everybody, thanks for watching.